How do you do it, your old buddy, Texas Tuber Tim? We're playing something new today. This is called Star Valley, and we are playing on Nintendo Switch. And uh, this is a game I played quite a bit of on uh, on the uh, mobile devices. Uh, I've even played a little bit on a PC before, but um, I thought this would be a fun thing to play. And I'm, I'm playing this for two reasons. One is my normal uh, pre-recorded video series. The game is kind of broken right now. And then secondarily, this game has a option to play four-player where it didn't used to. And I thought it would be really cool to play this game um, with three other people. So if you're into this game, if you own this game, if you have any interest in this game, let me know in the comments. Tim, I want to play with you, and we will figure something out where we can all, oh, hopefully, uh, three of y'all and one of Tim to play a four-player uh, version of this game. If you've never seen it before, just kind of hang out with us, and you'll see uh, fairly quickly this is a really good game um it's gotten a lot of praise uh for um various things but um it's it's one that people quite regularly talk about um even though the graphics don't appear to be all that that much uh, most people are really into this game and and i played enough of it to agree it's it's just a really good game to play so um we're, we start off the game, uh, and there's an intro that I, I didn't uh, make y'all watch, but the intro basically talks about how uh, our character has inherited this house. I think that's the storyline. Inherited the house or otherwise come to uh, have possession of this piece of property and basically uh, been invited out to the country to try and get it kind of sorted out and um, build it up from a state of disrepair to something better and as the game goes on you will see there's there's more to the story but for the time being that's pretty much the whole story and um, initially what we're trying to do here is we are going to do some planting uh, we've got some uh, parsnips uh, parsnip seeds that we can plant so we're uh, gonna want to get that on the ground here and then we will uh, look at our questing uh, one thing I like about this game is it has a pretty easy to follow kind of a questing uh, that makes it um, pretty pretty dang straightforward all right so we need to activate that little thing that uh, the show the hitbox thing let's see placement tile indicator I think that's it it should work there we go all right now we're talking all right so um these are parsnip seeds and uh there's all different kinds of things you can grow a lot of the game is farming but there's other stuff going on there's fishing there is uh cave exploration there are uh, relationships in the game in fact you can even get married uh you can get pets um there's a lot of things you can do in this game uh collect uh artifacts and uh, uh, minerals and things uh, it's a pretty cool game so uh, if you've never played it before I would invite you to hang out with us and uh, depending on how this does with the likes and all that we'll uh, possibly turn this into a regular thing all right so uh, having gotten that task out of the way I've got to remember how to get to to the the task bar and I'm used to playing this on a tablet, so y'all bear with me a minute. I gotta remember how to get to my taskbar. Taskbar. How do I get to that? There we go. Uh, for those of you playing along at home, it's the minus button. So we need to cultivate and harvest parsnips, and then we need to go greet all the villagers. All right, so we might as well... Yeah, let's let's uh let's throw some stuff here in the box. I'm gonna hang on to that stuff. We wanna try and keep our po pockets empty best we can. I will tell you, having played this game before, early game, the biggest issue is inventory space. Uh, you will um be uh, craving a bigger backpack in a hurry. Um, so you, every chance you get, you'll want to uh, offload what you can from your inventory. 
So we'll head over here towards town. I'm gonna kind of make a loop as we do this because we're trying to meet the various villagers and things um, and also see if we can pick up any freebie kind of items that are generally just kind of laying around. Like there's a spot up here that, that I know from having played before. We can get up in here and clear all this out. Um, and there's kind of a, an economy built into this game, which uh, those of you who followed my uh, Skyblock series know that uh, I kind of geek out on games like that where it has kind of that uh, built-in economy where you can kind of uh, build a system for generating revenue and all that kind of thing. Pretty fun. So uh, we're just going to kind of make the, uh, the rounds here. Uh, there are various houses and villagers we can vi uh, visit. Like this is uh, Rhonda, I think's her name. Robin. Uh, and basically as we uh, meet these various people, we can kind of check it off the list. That's uh, Maru, and this is Sebastian, I think. Nope, Demetrius. Shows you how good my memory is. Uh, okay, these rooms are empty. Is anybody over here? Nope. And then there's this other kid uh, who hides down here, and he never comes out. Uh, he plays on his computer. He's impossible to meet, but we'll keep an eye out for him. And then let's uh, loop up around here. There's a guy, uh, Linus is his name. I think. That's his tent. He's not home. Um, but the purpose of meeting these people is to, well, just kind of get to familiar with who, who's in the game. Um, but there is a relationship kind of an aspect to this game where you uh, can um, get to know these people and earn their friendship and all this kind of thing. And eventually you can even get married if you want. Um, I haven't ever done that before. I have a tendency with games like this to kind of uh, want to start over and try it from a different angle and that kind of thing. Uh, I don't think I've ever played this all the way through to the end, if I'm being honest. Alright, so we'll run down here. We're just kind of slowly making the rounds here, making sure we don't miss any uh, opportunities for free stuff. There goes Maru. We already met her. So for anybody who's watching this uh, this or one of my videos for the very first time, uh, my name is Tim, and I am a YouTube live streamer. I do a wide variety of content uh, on the Nintendo Switch. We play Pokemon Sword and Shield. We play Minecraft Bedrock Edition. We play um, uh, Splatoon 2, Mario Kart 8. We play some Rocket League, various games like that. So if you own a Switch and you're into those kind of games, I would definitely suggest you consider uh, giving us a sub, giving us a chance. Uh, by the way, one of the other things you can do is you can dumpster dive. Uh, don't let someone see you do it, but you can do it. And I'm basically just kind of making the rounds, picking up as much stuff as I possibly can. This is the uh, keeper of the um, museum. He'll eventually task us with finding items to fill up the museum again. Gunther. Gunther. What a name. All right, so uh, nobody's in here at the moment. And after a while, you can kind of start to see the pattern of the various people in the game and kind of predict where they're going to be before they actually go there. But um, my last time playing this game was long enough ago that I, I'm unlikely to remember all that sort of thing. It's usually an old guy in here. George, I think is his name. Oh, wait, that's the mayor's house. Okay, that's Penny. There's Maru. Here's the old lady. Can't remember her name. Uh, don't run off now. We're trying to meet you. Evelyn. And we've got the tavern here. Gus. 
and Emily. And over here, we will sometimes find Sebastian. Nope, not today. Not up there. Oh, this is Pam. She's the bus driver. She's uh, a little bit salty. Okay, we already met you. This is the football kid, Alex. This is George's house, I think. Yeah, there he is. And there shouldn't be anything else up here. There's not. There he is. We got lucky there. Oh, Shane. That's not the kid I was looking for. And then this is a bulletin board. It also shows when people's birthdays are. No help wanted posted today. And then we've got the shopkeeper. Pierre. Let's run up and meet this uh, lady before she runs off to hide. Caroline. So we're doing pretty good on the uh, meet meet the people. We can't go back here because we don't know them well enough. And then we can go here and we can... Uh, why is Pierre not tending the shop? I don't know what happened there. Not to worry, not to worry. We'll come back. But uh, they that guy sells uh, items that we can use, uh, namely seeds, which are uh, very helpful for growing our farm. And then down here is Elliot. He's never, well, not never, rarely in uh, outside. He's sometimes a little bit of a a shut in. And I think it's tomorrow they'll have us come back down here to the beach to do some fishing or something. Nope, we can't go in there. And this this uh, lady's really sn snooty. Haley? She's snooty. I don't like her. All right, so things are starting to shut down. It's getting late. We also need to keep an eye on time because the... Uh, I can't remember exactly what happens, but if, if we stay up too late, we uh, we pass out from exhaustion or something like that. It's it's not good, whatever happens. So we got to be in bed. I think it's by 12 or 1. Or something bad will happen to us. Anything down here? Nope. So every little thing like like that flower, we can pick it up and, and sell it. That box that I threw my stuff in earlier is, there's a person that just comes by in the night and empties that box out and, and gives us money for whatever we left in there. Somehow we passed the, the wizard's house, but that's okay. It's going to be closed, too. Seems like this map has changed a little bit since I saw it last as well, but... 
I could be wrong with that. All right, so we're going to have to kind of claw our way through this to get back home. Kind of hard to see what's blocking our way with the uh, the night time. How are we doing on time here? We're running out of time. Uh, the other thing is we want to always end with uh, having used up all our energy. I haven't done a really good job of that. You can see the energy bar in the in the top of the screen there. Yeah, he's starting to say he's tired, so let's go ahead and go to bed. Run up in here and sleep for the night. Looks good, looks good. So first day knocked out, that's basically how it works. And you can see here I'm getting paid for the items that I left in the box overnight. So every day uh, you want to check the weather report here. Weather uh, going to rain tomorrow, okay. And I forgot to uh, sell my extra items. Alright, this is Willie, the fishing guy, telling us to go back for uh, a fishing pole. What we really need to do is, is we need a... Um, Uh, a, a chest, a storage box. So we need, for that, we need 50 wood. And we could chop trees, but um, honestly, um, at some point we got to get all this uh clutter off the ground, we might as well start now. By the way, if you have any tips on this game, don't hesitate to uh, throw those my way. I, I do not even pretend to be an expert at this game. Uh, just I just really like it. It's a, a really good chill, relaxed kind of a game. And it's been around for a while. I'm convinced um, this game is largely, uh, or one big reason that Animal Crossing is so, so successful. Uh, that is also a good game. I, I enjoy that one too, but... All right, so we should be able to go over here. Then we go to the cra crafting menu. We're gonna make a chest. Uh, what's going on here? Are we full of stuff? Uh, they're gonna make me throw something away, aren't they? All right, let's throw away one wood. How do I open that chest? There we go. Something else you can do is um, not carry your all your tools around with you. Uh, I do need to water these plants real quick. But if you'll leave your tools behind, um, you'll have, you know, one extra slot opened up or two extra slots opened up. I would recommend hanging on to the, the axe, the pick, and the scythe, because those generally come up, uh, come, in, uh, come in 
handy as you're uh, wandering about. Okay, so let's see. We let's um, let's check our task here. Go to the beach. We need to visit before 5 p.m. Oh, we're working on the introductions. We've uh, done about half of the people so far, so we're we're off to a decent start. Well, I didn't even think to try and go in here. Uh, let's see, can we meet you? I think we can. Nurse lady? Oh, that's Maru. Alright, so this person wants a Jojo Cola. And I don't think we've met a purple hair person. I think that's Abigail. Yeah, Abigail. And then we're going to pop in here. Let's buy some potatoes. Have we met Jody? I've lost track of who I met. That's Robin. All right, let me pause for one. Okay, sorry about that. We're back. So this is Willie. Willie is the guy that runs the, the pier, and he's going to give us a fishing pole. And then we'll, we'll take the fishing pole for a test drive, and we'll do a quick break, and we'll start a new video. All right, so we got the bamboo pole. So basically we, let's see, which button is it? Oh, uh, hang on, I'm learning. Cast it out like that. And we caught our first fish, a sunfish. All right, this is going to be a great place for us to uh, pause the video. Don't forget to leave us a comment, whether you have a suggestion for me, uh, or if you want to play in the multiplayer version of this game, don't hesitate to do that. Um, finally, don't forget to uh, like and sub the channel. We appreciate all y'all's support so much. Y'all have an amazing day, and above all, stay frosty.